Oh. We got something good here. This has got to be a bass. If it's not a bass, it's a huge crappie. Oh, it's a crappie. Holy hell. I'm going to have to net this one. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Twin Rivers Outdoors. Um, recently we just passed 100 subscribers and you know what that means. It's time to give away some Twin Rivers Outdoors merch. To be entered into this giveaway, all you need to do is be one, subscribe to the channel, and two, drop a like and a comment on this video. I'm gonna let this video run for seven days and in that time frame, this video's gotta reach 25 thumbs up likes and 25 comments. At the end of seven days, I'm gonna go through and everybody that meets all the requirements are gonna be entered into the giveaway. That is, be subscribed to the channel, drop a like, drop a comment. I'm gonna get on my computer in the house and put it into a generator, random winner generator wheel. I'm gonna put everybody that's qualified in that wheel, spin it, whoever wins, wins. You'll have your pick of a t-shirt with our logo on it, a long sleeve t-shirt, um, a sweatshirt, or a hoodie sweatshirt with our logo on the chest. You can pick the color, size, of course, anything like that. Keep in mind, I, I'm not gonna be changing the color of my logo, um, just keep that in mind. But anyway, let's get right into the video. Let's get right into why you came here today. So today, we're gonna go out and we're gonna test these crappie nibbles. Do they work? Short answer, yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, as you can tell by before this intro started, I catch a beast. Um, now, the only other question is how well do they work? Yes, they work, but how well do they work? You're gonna have to check the rest of the video out to get the answer to that. Drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell hit. We're gonna get right into it, folks. Thanks for joining Twin Rivers Outdoors. You're gonna be watching some Power Nibble Power today. Come on, catch you guys in the video. All right, y'all, we made it out here today. We're gonna be taking a look at these Berkeley Power Bait crappie nibbles. Just seeing how these guys work. I have never used them before. So this is a first for me. But we're gonna give it a shot and we will definitely check it out. Today I'm gonna just be throwing the uh, single jig. I got a 16th ounce jig here. Throwing a little uh, bonehead tackle, disco green jig head. And I've also got a bonehead tackle um, brush glider on there too. It's, uh, they're out of Texas, a guy named Tommy Ezell. He's a big part of it down there on Lake Fork. Tommy, if you're watching this, I, uh, I gotta get down there, man. We gotta get out together or something or do something. Oh, I got, oh, missed it. But yeah, like, Tommy, if you're watching this, we gotta get out and do something. I'm gonna get down there one of these days. All right, y'all. That was our first bite of the day. Figured I'd let you guys take a look at this uh, bonehead tackle setup here. Got the 16th ounce, the little disco jig head there on a uh, brush glider. I've got it rigged up like this. You can also rig it up on its side so it looks like it's swimming a little bit better. But I've opted to go this route today. Had my first bite there in that last cast. Separated my jig into two pieces, so that's always fun. Ooh, that drag is stiff. I'm gonna fix that. Oh, got, got packed there pretty good. We need another crappie nibble. I'm getting a bunch of bites, but no fish. Another beautiful morning here in West Central Illinois. It's a 
about 6.45 in the morning. Got up about 5.30 and wanted to get on some water today while we can. It's supposed to be a beautiful day, so... There we go. That feels like a good fish. Get my net for this one. Oh yeah. That's a beast of a crappie. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but that's a pretty good fish right there. Dang. First crappie of the day. Oh, 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 oh yeah, we're in for it today, baby. Look at that. He was barely hooked, too. Ladies and gents, it's our first crappie of the day. That's probably about a 10 inch fish. Eh, 11 or 12, maybe. I don't know. I'll measure it. I'll measure it. Be right back. All right, first crappie of the day. Gonna come in just shy of 12. So we will take that. Heck of a first fish. What a way to start the day. All right, ladies and gents, let's get into it. another one right at the bank that's a small one a little guy there we'll keep him for now we'll keep him for now second crappie of the day Ooh. first one's upset he real mad he big mad Fishing this rip rap rip rap line here. Just a single jig today, a heavier jig with the wind. Figured it might make my life a little easier going a little heavier. There's one way out. little guy they're all they look healthy though they're all eating good i think i'm gonna put that one back he's got some work to do i'm gonna put him back Another one right at the bank. That's a better fish. Yeah, that's a lot better fish. That is what we're after, ladies and gents. He's crappie. All right, well, looks like these crappie nibbles work. We're gonna get on them today, boys. Let's get after it. I'm gonna reload up a nibble. I gotta tell you guys. If you guys don't ever get up in the morning and try to hit that that early morning crappie bite, bass bite, there is just nothing like the early morning bite anywhere. Got another one. Not a bad fish. 
I think we're gonna put him back though. He's not not quite there yet. Oh, we got something good here. This has got to be a bass. If it's not a bass, it's a huge crappie. Oh, it's a crappie. Holy hell. I'm going to have to net this one. This is a beast, man. That is the biggest one I thought out of here by fall. Oh my word. Yeah. Take a look at that, boys. <laughs> wow. No way. That's probably that's probably the biggest crappie I've ever caught. I thought that was a bass. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Maybe we can put go. Yeah, I'd say she's still got some eggs. Wow. Looking like that's the closest mouth to me. About 15. No, 15 and a half. 15 and a half inches. Almost 16. That's what they close. Wow. That's how we got this next year. Oh my god. We're going to weigh it. Alright, ladies and gents. We're going to go ahead and weigh this fish. It's 15 and a half inches. Let's get after it. This is probably the biggest crop I've ever caught. Yeah. 235. 235? 238. That's a good fish, dude. No, two, let's see, it's holding two, three, three. I was, you better get some measurements on him. Yeah, this is, this is my biggest crappie by a long shot. Two, three, three is what we're going to go with. Wow. All right, y'all, we're going to get back to it. We're going to, we're going to use some more crappie nibbles. I got to. I'm getting some measurements on that fish. I think I might get a replica mount done. Because uh, that, that's that's by far the biggest crappie of my life. Um, I've got it sitting in a bucket right now. I'm going to give it a little bit of break before I get some more measurements on it. Boy. I'm still shaking. There's one. Alright, so as I said in my intro, today we're going to try and want to go over water conditions and what colors I use in water conditions. Uh, the water here is not super muddy, but it's not Just clear. Just a little right. guy. So I am using... Alright everybody, we're back. I just caught that, that huge crappie on this bonehead brush glider. I'm not sure of the color name. I'll probably have to look that up and put it in the description. But this is the business right here. 16th ounce jig head. It's on their disco jig head. Throwing my ACC crappie sticks. I got the eight footer with super grips. Tipping all these jigs with a crappie nibble. And I just caught the biggest crappie of my life. I'm still absolutely shaking and a little bit dazed <laughs> to say the least I've never caught a crappie that big well we're gonna try to find another one real quick so I'm officially a believer in crappie nibbles is that what you caught that on? Yep. there's another one told you man, nibbles I'm officially a believer all 
I'm a believer. That's another good fish. I am a believer. I don't know, I was just a big, uh, I've been a big skeptic on that stuff my whole life, you know? I don't know why, I just have been. Bluegill, big bluegill. Dang. Ooh, that kind of looks hybrid-y. It does. Yeah, I'd say that's a hybrid for sure. Yeah, that's a hybrid, I guess. I'm assuming it's got that weird looking weird pattern right here. I'm not sure. I'm unfamiliar with that, but that's a beast of a bluegill. Alright, y'all. I'm back. Just getting some more measurements on that big crappie I caught. I'm letting her rest right now before I release her. Yeah, I'm going to get a replica mount done of that girl. Crappie nibbles work. Yeah, they do. That's another awesome looking fish. Healthy, healthy, healthy fish. Catching all whites. Me too. All white. Nice white crappie this morning. whites but they're uh in my opinion i think it's uh white crappie for a year yeah it just depends i guess for me black one's got their colors on no doubt yeah i don't know it always seems like the bigger crappie you catch are generally white yeah i don't know that's just me maybe Got a little tuxedo on. Black? Mm, I can't tell, real honestly. No, I think this one's white too. I think he's got some bars. You can barely see him, but yeah, he's got bars. I've never, I mean, that, like I said, that's the biggest crap I've ever caught in my life, and I've been fishing since I was three years old, for God's sakes. Oh, right at the bank. Right at the bank. Spit my nibble off. It's all right, I got a jar of them. There he is. Yeah. So I brought these crappie nibbles out today to test them out, see if they worked or not. And uh, I've been converted into a believer. One fish did it for me. So yeah, go out, get you some uh, crappie nibbles, or tip your jigs with them. I mean, what can it hurt? Like I showed you guys before, this is just the simple presentation. 16th ounce jig head. Got a their uh, bonehead tackle disco heads. Got it on the uh, bonehead tackle brush glider in a purple and green. And I'm probably gonna have to keep this jig.
Oh, slammed it. That one was off the bank too. What's that? That was probably ten feet off. Mine was literally like on top of the rock. Nice little white. Wow. My day is complete. I could probably end the video here. Not gonna do that though. I got up early to go fish, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fish for a while. I knew it was going to be a good morning. I'm like my second or third cast of the day, I reel in a nice 11 and a half, 12 inch white. Caught a couple smaller crappie after that, and then bam, I run into Bertha. <clears throat> Big Mama's got them all worked up. Yep. All we had to do is we had to fire them up a little bit, you know. See, that's the plus side. You see, you let, you let your buddies get down to the fishing hole first. You let them fire them up, and when you get there, they're already on fire. That's true, I guess. That hit pretty good on that cast. I'm, I'm fishing out from the bank a little bit, and we're still getting smacked. What is this guy? That's another big crappie. Another big one. I got the net ready for this one. This one doesn't seem quite as big, but uh, that's a heck of a fish. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but he's got a dome full of bonehead tackle. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We found the studs. We found the studs this morning. What is up with this business? Look at that. Jig fell out. Wow. He was swimming off with it, whatever that was. But anyway, back to the crappie nibbles. I can, so I've been, I've been fishing like my whole life, like I was saying, and I've never used these crappie nibbles and I've never had much luck crappie fishing at all until, I don't know, maybe the last couple of years when I really started to get into it. And I have never caught anything of that size. So my first time ever using crappie nibbles or any, anything like that, I, I catch the biggest crappie of my life, so I'm kind of convinced that these crappie nibbles might have something to do with it. Now we're getting fired up. It's funny, we just moved, what, 30 yards down the <laughs> little riprap here. And yep, there's one. In a completely different mood down here. This, looks, this feels good. Heck yeah, not bad. Yeah, bite slowed down about 30 yards, you know, from where we were, and bang, we're back at them. I think this might be the first black crappie I've caught all day. Yeah, I, I, see, I, I think all the ones I caught were white. Yeah, there's there's no bars on that one. That's that's a black. Yeah, you can just tell. That's a nice looking speck there. Hitting the old stump bug from Bonehead. Go check them out. What brand? Bonehead. Bonehead. Yep. If there is one thing I can say for sure, you will find them. Yep, there's one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's a fighter, too. Yes, sir. That's a nice looking white. There he is. Dang. 
right in the top of the dome piece. Nice. Oh, got you a bass? Yeah. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. There's probably a 10. Nice white, got the bars going on him. Nice white crappie. All right, y'all, well, that's gonna do it for today's episode on Twin Rivers Outdoors. Thank you for joining, and I hope you enjoyed what you saw, the amount of fish we caught the size of a couple of those crappie i mean i caught two that were over that were over 14 inches and it's all thanks to these crappie nibbles um go out and get you some check them out um i'm not sponsored by them or anything so this is just 100 percent personal experience um no bias but yeah i'm gonna get that first crappie i caught mounted um weighed 2.33 15 and a half inches um I've been saying my whole life, if I ever caught a crappie over two pounds, I was gonna put it on my wall. So I'm, I'm gonna stay true to that. And I'll show you guys whenever she comes in. Um, I can't wait, I'm excited. I'm gonna be talking to the guys today, trying to figure out the whole ins and outs of getting one mounted. I've never mounted a fish before, but yeah, we'll check it out. Thank you guys for joining. Um, we are still on the road to 100 subscribers at the time of this recording. Um, we're sitting at like 90, 92 or something like that right now. Um, hopefully we're there by the time you guys see this, but if, if we're not there, go ahead, hit that subscribe button for me, smash that like button, and thank you. That's, thank you so much for all the support and everything that you guys are doing for the channel. It's great. I love to see it. Anyway, we will catch you on the next one. My name's Austin, and thank you for joining Twin Rivers Outdoors.